An upstate church had a surprise visitor earlier this week. Someone trying to steal gas from a church bus in the parking lot. Our Rashad Williams is live in Simpsonville at Rocky Creek Missionary Baptist Church with a look at why the pastor says this can serve as a lesson and a blessing. Well, Nigel, allow me to describe it to you. The smell of gasoline is strong here in the parking lot. This is a pool of gasoline that I'm standing in. It leaves a trail right to this bus. This is a result of someone coming here Tuesday at 3 a.m. attempting to steal gasoline from the bus that transports children up to five days a week. This was all captured on camera. It sits right there in the corner and the pastor says that he wants people to know that it is okay to ask for help when times are rough. A common theme in the church is come as you are, and that's the case here at Rocky Creek Missionary Baptist Church. The doors are always open for those seeking God, but Tuesday around 3 a.m., the woman pulling up in this red car was clearly seeking something else. The cameras are right there. They're right there. Capturing the moment, senior pastor Dr. Adrian Weidman has watched several times at this point. The woman hops out of her car, gas can in hand, and no real sense of urgency as she tries to steal gas from the church bus. Pastor Weidman says he didn't recognize the woman. Instead, he recognized a cry for help. Obviously, if you had the ability or the need to come to a church at 3 o'clock in the morning to steal gas, there's something else there. The woman eventually aborting the mission, leaving behind all the tools for the job. As she was, was ciphering the gas, all of a sudden she just got back in the car and drove off. And I would like to believe that something in her heart something in her mind um, tucked at her. My prayer is that she actually heard the voice of God. Pastor Weidman wanted to make sure other churches in the area were put on notice, posting a warning and an invite to church on Facebook to the woman responsible, since he says she should have enough gas to make it to service. To come visit, if that's something that you're struggling with, if there's something, a life-changing moment, we want to be able to help you. A police report has been filed, but right now the alleged gas guzzler is still on the loose. Now the pastor says this is really all about just turning a negative situation into a positive. So what will happen here next week at 630? The church will be handing out free gas cards to anyone in the community that is in need. One more time, that is 630 next week on this day, on Wednesday, excuse me. The church will be handing out those, those gas cards. Live in Simpsonville, Rashad Williams, WYFF News 4.